Hey everybody, I'm back again with another video. This is the Power Director 14 review. Okay, so some of the things we're going to be going over in this video is features and functionality, some of the things I like and don't like about the software, and if it's worth the money. So let's get going. So the FX room is a really cool area. It has just tons of different effects that you can do your videos. If you want to have a lightning strike while your intro is on fire and bubbles are going across it, you can do that. It's got just a myriad of effects that are just canned into the software and I did get the deluxe version of this software which even gave me more effects um, but it's such a good price that it's worth it I think I paid 60 bucks for this software and it does a lot of the things that Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro do I'm not gonna say everything because there's just a ton of the things that that one can do too but I don't think you can beat it for the price and uh, there are plenty of effects I think more than I'm probably ever going to use all right now let's go to the picture-in-picture -picture objects room and that is where you can take a uh, object and place it in your video and you can resize it and change the trans you know the opulency and make it like fade in and fade out of your video it's it's really cool I've used it in a couple of my videos now and uh, it's a really cool effect also like there you can do like little picture frames and stuff like that and then put videos in each frame And there's the particle room. The particle room is another one where it's just taking videos and and putting it in sequence with your video and kind of layering it all in there. Uh, so it's another cool effect. I really like it. And then uh, my favorite section is the text and title effects. Uh, there's just so many things you can do with it. And you can put effects on the text, you can put in frames, you can, uh, it's even got a Star Wars uh, effect that's already pre-canned in the software also, which is super cool. And I'm going to utilize later in this video uh, at the end, just to show you guys the effect. I mean, I, I put it in some other sections of the video, but uh, at the end, I'm going to utilize that effect on my text. And the timeline is, is really interactive. It's, it's uh, really cool. You can even modify like uh, audio and, and uh, do all your stuff in the timeline too. So I, I do a little bit of both. Now transitions, I never used to use transitions, but I'm finding that transitions are pretty cool. And, and there's a ton of transitions in this software just that come with it. And you can just drag it over your video and see how it looks and if you don't like it just remove it and uh, it's really easy to do and they've got just a ton of cool ones I especially like the one that flips out I do that in my intro now that one right there boom Now you also have what's called the mixer room and that's really cool. You can tweak all your sounds and uh, get everything sounding just the way you want it. If your voiceover is too low or uh, your music is you know not loud enough, you can just tweak it there on the fly and it makes it real simple and uh, makes you or gives you the ability to make your video sound just how you want it to. And 
and you can modify the uh, DB levels, either uh, highlighting it and changing the number manually, or you can just use the slider. Or you can even go in the timeline and modify it there too. And then there is the voiceover. And I really like it because it will record uh, in the timeline. And if you go to a certain section of the timeline, you could re-record right over it and it will insert it in that exact location. So you don't have to delete the whole track if you just made a few mistakes. Now, I sometimes leave mistakes in. That's fine, but it's an easy way to get them out. And then there's the capture and you can do webcam, you can do a microphone and there is video capture, but there's a problem with the video capture uh, software as far as the screen capture is concerned. But I'll talk about that more later. Now, uh, there's also just a tons of, of settings to enhance your video or modify your video. I mean, you can tweak everything on your video. You can mask out certain sections of your videos and designs. You can make your text jump all over the video. You can zoom in and out. There's filters. You can modify all your colors. It, it makes your mind spin spend like crazy thinking about all these different things you can do color correction you can do lens correction and you have a drop down where all the cameras are listed and it pretty much has every kind of camera known now you know obviously on capturing screen captures there's not a lot of cuddle crap correction going on or or anything like that but you know, if you're if you're doing some videos with poor lighting or or crazy colors, and you want to just filter those out, it's no problem with this software. It's full suite. And you can zoom in and crop your video, and you can resize the videos. Or I, in one of my videos, I overlaid something over another video so that you couldn't see my code you know you can do cool things like that too um, side by side videos um, it, it's pretty much like a sky's the limit whatever you can do with your imagination now the power tools is another cool thing i especially like the the speed enhancement stuff because you can shorten a video greatly without affecting the sound, obviously, uh, and turn a 45 minutes worth of video footage into like 15 minutes worth of video footage because you just want somebody to get the gist of the plot. Um, so I really like, like the power tools and the fixes and the enhancements in this software. There's just, like I said, there's so many options in this software. I, I'm probably going to have to, to do a few tutorials myself in order to learn half the things you can do. Another cool feature is it's got like 50 undos. It could save in its memory. And you can also just revert stuff back to its original state. So if I can do four times and I might go, oh, that's too fast, then I can just click revert. It goes back to one times. And then I can modify it to whatever I want. Now, some of this stuff in here that I'm clicking on, I've never used. I do pretty simple videos. I'm, I'm not trying to do all kinds of crazy effects where I'm zooming in and out of the videos and making them blow up or anything like that. I'm just, but, you know, if you want to do something like that, you can. And then you've got more menus in here, but I, I hardly ever use those. Just like right there, I just did an undo. Uh, and you don't necessarily have to save it. And as you can see, I'm still screen capturing. Now you can go into your general settings right here and just tweak all the stuff up here too. You could 
log into your cloud and they have something called power director zone or something like that that you can go into also i don't use the cloud so i don't know how well it works um, and i went into power director i didn't find a whole bunch in power director that wasn't already in the software so it's personal preference i, I would say it's probably not necessary Okay, now when you're ready to produce a video, this is got all the settings you're going to need. Um, you know, I you normally upload to YouTube, so I'm just going to use the H.264 AVC. Uh, I'm doing 1080p at 30 frames per second, but you can go to 4K if you wanted to. Uh, and as you can see, it is encoding very fast. I mean, you look at the time elapsed, the time remaining and the playtime, and it encodes way faster than uh, most video uh, editing softwares that I've used. And it's, it's actually doing a screen capture while it's producing the video and running this software, and my computer's not even straining. So that's a testament to how good it's encoding. And there's some sections in here where you can upload to different, you know, social networks and all that stuff. But I don't use any of that. I do it the old fashioned way. I just drag my video into the YouTube and uh, do an upload. As you can see on this video, my timeline is starting to get full and it's getting more and more uh, intricate. And uh, you can, like I said, it's your imagination. So things are like powerful and it's fast uh, and it offers lots of video enhancements and editing tools. Um, I like the way the timeline it's being utilized. Uh, and, you know, I've made some pretty cool videos already and I've I probably, this is maybe the fourth video I've done with it. And the deluxe version is $60, which is cheap for all that you get. Production time is super fast. It's way faster than my older software. Um, so there's lots of like, but it's not perfect. I'm having problems with the screen capture. It won't launch every time. Uh, I have to tweak settings to get it to work. Tech support has not been very good. Some of the buttons are really small, like the save and the undo button. The preview window is not very intuitive. There's no back button or skip all the way to beginning video button. The power director online is kind of empty in the cloud. I haven't used it, so I can't comment on that. But overall, this is the best bang for the buck that I've seen in a while, for sure. It's probably not better than Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro, but it's way cheaper. And 90% of the people would rather probably save the money than just have the name. So I don't normally rate things, but it all depends on your needs. And if you need a video editor, this is a must buy. If you have a Mac, Final Cut Pro. If you have tons of cash, Premiere Pro. But that's my video. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, or subscribe.